What's up? What's up? What's up? Huh? Y'all see what it is? All my hogs get in the building. All my family get in the building. If you ain't a hog fan, where y'all at? Take time. Get everything y'all need. Hmm? Shout out all my family that's checking in with me. Huh? Whether you checking in just to hear me talk about sh- or you down with the huh? The hogs? Or you down with Mad Child? Or you a Nova fan? Either way. Thank you. Huh? I sincerely mean that. Huh? How was your day? How was your day? Cause if they don't, if, they, if don't nobody else care, we care over here, huh? I care over here. I care. Shout out to everybody, all my 420 people, huh? And everybody that's checking in with me across the globe. Hmm. Subscribe to the channel one time if you feel like it. Huh? Hit that like. Don't like it till you like it. I know that's right, huh? But hopefully you like it, huh? That's why you here, right? Ah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Hit that share button if you want to. I don't know. I don't care. You ain't gotta hit it. If you don't want to share, you ain't gotta share, huh? As long as you watch it, that's all I care about. All I care about is if you watch. That's right. They told me to buckle up for this one. Y'all been telling me about this one. Y'all been telling me about this one. I've been loving the catalog and the journey that I'm getting into with Tom McDonald and Nova Rockefeller and now Mad Child and the Hog for Life family. I really dig it. I really dig it what's going on. I really dig it. So, um, we all know if you've been watching me and you see my last, you see my last couple of videos and you see my last video I did with, with Mad Child and and, and T Mac and Nova. I spoke briefly about addiction, so I know that topic can be for real. You know, the title, the name is sober. So as you know, I haven't heard it. Every time you see me. You see this video, it's always my first time hearing a song. So, haven't heard it, don't know what it's about, don't know nothing, but we're going to get into it, you know? Because, as much as I joke, this is a very serious topic for a lot of people. So, let's see what, let's see what we're about to get into. What up, y'all? My name's Tom. Little while back was an alcoholic. Had a mental breakdown like a year ago. Came close to putting me in a coffin. Damn. After the hooker I loved. After I did all the drugs. After I finally got fired for showing up late to the job, hella tired and drunk. After the oxys, I put up my nose with my boss on the oil rigs when I was young. After my ex cut her wrists and the cops thought I stabbed her and beat me, then put me in cuffs. After I totaled my car trying to run from the cops with a kilo of coke in the trunk. After I drank till I rotted my teeth on my head, got infections in all of my gums. After I couldn't get hard cause the vodka and porno sedated me till I was numb. After I couldn't and escape from the basement I rented and went to go live with my mom after I not to stop it already but he's covered so much ground that so many people can relate to already he's covered a lot of ground already as soon as he started as soon as he started because there are all issues that he speak that he said already there are all issues that come with using all them different drugs. Exactly what he's saying. He covered so much, so short already. That's how bad addiction is. That quick. In 30-something seconds. Everything he said is, is a direct reflect of using some type of drug. Wow. And he rapping, too. Whew. Let's not forget about that. The rap skill is there. Ooh. 
I cheated on people I needed and lied trying to hide from the guy that I was. Then I got sober, the madness was over. Now I am proud of the man I've become. Yeah. I'm finally someone that I know again. I started climbing out the hole I'm in. Fighting demons and I'm no way. It's time for me to mend these broken ways. Life has been hard, I know it gets better. This is a war that I'll fight forever. That's so true. Because you know what they say, once an addict, always an addict. You'll be fighting them demons for, for forever. It's right there over your shoulder. Right there over your shoulder. It's always there. Yup. And anybody that's dealt with it or has been close to it, they know. Some people that never dealt with addiction won't understand. You could be clean. You could be clean for 10 years. You could be clean for 20 years. But you're still an addict. Whether it comes from alcohol or whatever it is. You're one sip, hit, stab away. Sniff away. Swallow away. Light away. Puff away. Just one. It's always right there. But what you keep that in mind, that's how you push through. Good hook, man. Good song already, man. As you could tell already. Do I need to say more? I guess, obviously, I like the song. You caught me. You got me. Ah, got me. You caught me. Yes. Damn. I wanted to wait a little while before I, before I spilt the beans. Got me already. Damn it. Y'all got me again. Ah. Y'all, my name's Mad Child. I've been off to Zanny's for a while now. I was waking up feeling suicidal, but I think I'm finally starting to smile now. Man, I lived a hell of a life. I've been to hell and back twice. Lost ten million dollars through different addictions. Don't tell me about paying the price. From mm, penthouses right. with top models, hanging with strippers with pop bottles. You're anxious and hiding alone in my room from the world. I was pissing in pop bottles. From chart top and being a role model to flop records and lost follows. When I cop product, got a month's worth. When I left the spot, cops followed. You saw a photo of was only face because I was 85 pounds overweight. Mental breakdown trying to catch a plane. Wasn't mad, child. I was only Shane. My puppy Lola was my only gang. Had to put my baby in a grave. I walked away from every brick I laid so I could build a new wall to keep me safe. I'm finding someone that... Oh, man. <sighs> mad, child. You just wrote a verse that uh, that that it makes somebody drop a tear, brother. Damn. Respect to you, man. Respect to you from pulling through and fighting through that shit. You know what I'm saying? That that shit ain't easy, brother. That shit ain't easy. Damn. That brother, that brother been through a lot, man. Damn. He just you just touched me with that verse, dog. Wow. Sober. And see how much. Joy is bringing down that they, you know, they saying that they sober, like they giving gratitude now. They giving gratitude. That don't mean you, you soft now, or you're a punk, or that make you any less because you ain't doing what you used to do, because you ain't drinking, because you ain't partying, because you ain't doing them things. No. Yo, salute to you guys, man. I'm going to keep it going, man. Wow. Wow. That verse just touched me. I know again. I started climbing out the hole I'm in.
Yo, that video make you want to hold a fist up. Like, that is a fight song right there. That's the fight song for sobriety, man. You fighting sobriety. That's the fight song right there. You feel like you, you can't do it no more? You feel like you thinking about giving up? Mm-mm. Play this song right here. Of course. Of course directed by Nova Rockefeller. On top of that. Simple. The, the video, the director of the video, the video, the concept. is so simple but needed. It's simple but dope for the situation and needed. There's not too many distractions. Y'all did it again, man. Oh, that is fire. I did it again. Almost shed a tear. I almost shed a tear. That's real. That's real shit. Come on, man. Yo, you what? You watching this? You hit that like. Hit that like button for me one time, man. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That song is so dope. Them verses are so needed. That hook is so powerful. Oh, man. they, Man, they did it again, man. And I'm praying and I fight and pray for anybody that's still dealing with addiction. Anybody that's fought through addiction or anybody that knows anybody that's going through it or going through it. I pray for you guys and I'm fighting with you guys. Yes. Believe that. You did it with anything, leave a comment, hit my DMs, however they say it, man. You can talk to me, express your feelings to me over here. I don't care if it's two words or if it's 20, 200 words. Leave a paragraph. I will read the whole thing and respond. Yes, because without you guys, I ain't, sh but y'all know that already. Another dope one from the Hog family, man. Thank you guys for putting me on to this stuff, man. Let me know what y'all want next from these guys. Let me know what y'all favorite. Let me know what y'all want next. You no, know, we already diving into the catalog, so let's keep it going, man. Peace and love.